guys, holy moly, it's August 5th, 2022. Look at these clouds we're driving into on the other side of town, like Big, like big Bear City and whatnot. That's not blue sky in between these, these white clouds. That's all gray straight ahead. It looks like it's blue skies. That's all just thickness. That's just insane, you guys. It's so beautiful. Look at these clouds, my gosh. So gorgeous. Anyway, how are you guys doing? Hope everyone's doing well. Sorry about yesterday's video. I, I'm not trying. I'm not trying to like lie to you guys and say we're gonna get a lot more. We we didn't get what what they said we were gonna get yesterday. Not even close. So, um, but hopefully today we will get something different. But yeah, look at that straight ahead. That looks like blue skies, doesn't it? Right around those those big white puffy guys. That's not blue. That's gray. But through this camera, that looks like it's just blue skies behind it. And look, that, that looks like a spaceship right there straight at, straight ahead of us. That is so cool. But anyway, you guys, thank you guys for all the support, always. I love doing this. I, I love this channel because of you guys. You guys make me feel so wonderful and so good inside. Um, as I've always told you guys, you guys have been the best therapist that I could ever dream of. You guys are so loving and so caring towards me. And you guys go out of your way for me. Like, this is, this is, this is truly remarkable. This is like, it has to be a miracle because you guys saved my life. I, I know that sounds ridiculous, but it's not. You guys have saved my life and I, I love you guys dearly. Thank you. I literally owe you guys my life. But I want you guys to know that we're all here together and any issues we have, don't, don't hesitate to communicate it if, you, if you're not comfortable talking to other people because we're all here for each other. This is a really safe place to be. A bunch of wonderful people on this channel, very loving, very supportive, and just very, very super cool. So I love you guys, and let's let's do what we can to be there for each other always, because you guys have never let me down. I promise you, I will never let you down. And I forgot to tell you, it's about, it's 10 minutes to noon on August 5th, 2022, Friday. Um, guys, my mom turns 80 years old August 18th. I cannot believe it. Anyway, I love you guys. Hang tight. We're going to drive out to that side of town. Hey, guys, I just want to do another little update on this series of videos I'm going to patch together today. So we're looking at over towards Baldwin and kind of if that, that direction right there, that's like Lucerne Valley and then Apple Valley would be on that side of the mountains there. But look what we got here. This is something that looks like it's blowing up. We're not necessarily supposed to be getting anything today, but it looks like some of us up here could be getting something. And, and, and that looks like a leg with a foot sticking up right there. Or it looks like it looks like a dog laying down on its back. Look at that. Look, look, look. It looks like the dog's head right there. And that's his foot sticking up. His looks like a dog. I'm a weirdo. Super weirdo. Anyway, you guys, I love you guys. And I will post some more videos shortly. I'm really excited about this time of year right now because usually I'm not n making nearly as many videos. So I love doing this for you guys because I love interacting with you guys. You guys you guys have really made, made everything in my life so much better. So thank you and bless you all. I'll talk to you soon. Hey you guys, this is insane. Look at these clouds that are just, they, they keep on building up. Right now it is 3.15 p.m. on the 5th of August. I, I think it's it's the 5th. But look at these clouds building over there. I'm not sure if we're going to get any precip out of it, but I wanted just to just to give us an opportunity, you know? Because you guys know how much I love this, and uh, yeah, I love you guys. So Now we're driving through the village right now, so I'm going to show you guys a shortcut right here. When you have this much traffic, like when most of you guys come up here on the weekend, you see all this traffic going straight ahead. Actually, it's not that much, just a, a couple super slow slow drivers but what you want to do is turn here at Oakside restaurant you a lot of you would never know about this but this goes all the way through to this street right behind Oakside and I'm gonna show you the shortcut because you will always beat all those cars to the end watch so go through here through Oakside okay and then this back street I can't I can't remember the name but it's right behind Jack in the box and stuff like that so we're gonna turn here. Oh, it's so beautiful out here today. 77 degrees, just spectacular out here. Keep in mind guys, our, our weather's gonna be changing soon to start to cool off and 
get those fall temps. I'm really excited about that. And I changed, took a shower. I'm sure you guys are excited about that. I, I showered, I'm clean now, holy moly. All right, any, any here. Any here. None, chill out, chill Okay, so we're not gonna go through the village, but look, so this is the traffic that we just beat. So we all have a stop sign right here. There will be usually no one here. No one like in this line. So you'll beat everybody because no one knows really these little shortcuts to the parking lots and stuff like that. So whatever I can do to save you guys time, I'm always going to do that because I know you guys spend a lot of money up here. I'm not trying to talk smack on our town, but I know you guys get price gouged when it's snowing outside here. And uh, I mean, that's why less than 15% of people ever return to Big Bear. I know you guys are thinking that's crazy, but that's what I learned at orientation at Bear Mountain Ski Resort. When I worked there, they, they spent 30 minutes during employee orientation to talk about that stuff, about how less than 15% of people ever return to Big Bear because of bad experiences. It shocked me. So what I try just to help you guys out as much as I can, save you guys some time um, so you can enjoy your time up here. But anyway, yeah, I'll turn this cam cam around. Okay, okay. And we're just taking the back street. This is called Pennsylvania. What we are on right now. Driving into the hell of clouds. So I, I have a really sad feeling that this is not gonna impact us today. But please, please, you guys, keep your fingers crossed that next week everything pans out the way it's supposed to. Um, they haven't changed the forecast at all. So that that gives me a lot of hope um, that, yeah. And guys, one more thing. We have a good chance to fill the lake up next week. I'm not kidding. So keep your fingers crossed. Keep your fingers crossed. Be hopeful. Because um, I want you guys to have a beautiful place to come to. It's very beautiful, even though the lake's super low, but it's just, it's just not the same. So anyway. So this is Pennsylvania, and then it dead ends at Jeffries. You'll see signs like this that say State Highway 18 right here. So it's it's hard to get lost, but I just want you guys to have all the shortcuts because you guys deserve it. I don't, as I said, I don't want you guys wasting your time. Um, you guys are you guys are my peeps, and I'm gonna take care of you. So this first street right here is called Oak Street. So Pennsylvania, and then you make a left on Jeffries, and then right on Oak. And then we're gonna take this until you see these signs that say not a through street. And I believe it's called Eureka, but I'm not sure. So just keep on taking this. We're running parallel to Big Bear Boulevard right now, you guys. As you can see, there's no one here, right here. Like, it's just so nice. Everyone else is just uh, sheep being herded down Big Bear Boulevard. So right here, it says not a through street. This is where you wanna turn, and it is called Eureka. Then you take this all the way to the end. Where it says not through street and turn right. And this is called McWinnie. Or yeah, McWinnie. And then one more. I I gosh. Oh, what's this called? Oh my gosh. What is this called? Ren or something? W-R-E-N, I think. Yep. So when you dead end again, guys, it's really easy because you'll just constantly be dead ending to make a turn. So it makes life a lot easier. Turn left here. And then to continue running parallel, like to Moon Ridge and stuff like that, you wanna turn right here on Brownie. The next street up is Big Bear Boulevard. You don't wanna go there. Look at all the traffic out there. So you wanna turn right here and bada bing, bada boom. This will take you all the way to Moon Ridge Road, guys. And then there's plenty of shortcuts from there all the way through Big Bear City and whatnot. But just look at how, how just gnarly some of these clouds are straight ahead. Just gnar gnar, man. Like, ha ha ha, shaw, shaw, raw, shaw. Yeah. Okay, let's see what we got. So, every time I say, okay, so my wife says, queso? <laughs> so. She's so funny. I can't wait for you guys to meet her. As I said, she's super, super nervous. But I think you guys are gonna be really proud of me. She is, she's perfect. Like, she's so perfect, so smart. 
so beautiful. Like, I don't know how I got so lucky, but um, if it can happen for me, you guys, it can happen for any of you. So keep the hope alive. Those of you who are like me, who are, have felt like you're alone for so long, you don't have to be. You really don't. Okay, so I just did the queso thing again. So we're gonna hang it right here and just go to Snow Summit real quick, just to check out how it looks over here, so you guys can see some of the ski resorts. And But if we don't get any precipitation out of this, I don't think I'm gonna upload this video. Guys, this is what I do all the time in preparation for the rain or snow. And if we don't get anything, then I've done all of this for naught. So I want you guys to know how, how hard I actually work at this, but frankly, it's not any work. Uh, we're just gonna go straight. Frankly, it's not work to me. This is a passion. I love doing this. I love doing this. Okay, so I keep on doing that queso thing. It's so irritating. So we're gonna go straight. Easy guy. Alright, so check this out. We are at Snow Summit. Wow, there's people doing like flips. On, oh, look at that. Look at how fun that looks. Look at that person doing like flips and stuff like that on this bungee thing. Super cool. Oh my gosh, I wish you guys could all be here. It's so perfect up here right now. It's so beautiful. Just like all of you are such beautiful people. So many beautiful hearts on this channel. So much love on this channel. I never anticipated this would ever happen. It, it, it wasn't even something that I could have conceived. I hope that was the right word for what I'm trying to say. So, let's check this out. Oh, it's so beautiful. We're gonna have to go around here and make a U-turn because we're gonna head back out that direction. These condos look pretty awesome. I'm sure you guys would be to stay there. Okay, so, and I just did the queso thing again. But look at that. Man, that is unreal. You guys realize how beautiful that is? We are so lucky to at least catch the tail ends of these monsoons. What's really odd to me, you guys, is that we are literally as far west as the monsoon pushes. It's it, it's almost as if this mountain range and the San Gabriels completely cut them off from moving even further west, like into San Bernardino and Riverside and stuff like that. Yes, you guys will will get some of these sometimes, but these come all the way from the this moisture, guys, comes all the way from the Gulf of Mexico. So it, it's pretty remarkable how it makes it this far. But it's just all the humidity. It's 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 just it's it's, it's wonderful. I love it. But yeah, it's one more look over here. There's no one behind us, so we'll stop here for a moment. But look at that person doing like freaking. Look at that. Do, do, and jump, and jump, and jump. <laughs> All right, enough playing around. Let's hope for some thunder and lightning and some rain, you guys. Love you guys a lot. We're gonna take Switzerland. So Switzerland is another street that you can get through to Moonridge, to lower lower Moonridge area. Like this will drop you off on on Elm Street. It'll it'll it. it I think it kind of dead ends at Elm Street. I really want to go straight and just drive in into that storm, but. I think that storm's a little bit out of the out of the way here. I don't think I would be able to make it on any roads. We'd have to go down the mountain over by like Palm Springs to come back up. A few of you have wanted me to go do some recording for uh, where that mudslide was on Highway 38. I, you guys, I would love to. I would love to do that. It's just it's so difficult because I have a business up here and I'm a one man operation. I cannot leave town. Like it's really hard, even for my honeymoon. We're staying at like a hotel up here once a week for like two or three nights. And we're probably gonna do that for a few months just to like give us three weeks or so like in a hotel and just just different perspective, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, this is Switzerland and this, this road can be pretty rough. 
lots of potholes. They try to fix it often, or not try, they do fix it often, but because of the snowfall. Um, just right here, even though we're only about 500 yards from Big Bear Boulevard, you'll get maybe three or four inches more snow just, just right here, because you're right up against the mountain here. But yeah, this is, this is just marvelous, simply marvelous. And there's some huge homes over here. Lifestyles of the rich and famous. I'm Robin Leeds, and this here is Lifestyle of the Rich and Famous. Oh, look at that new house going in. Sweet. I haven't been over on this street in like a few months, and they already have that place almost built. It's beautiful. All right, so let's take a look at some of these big, big properties here. I mean, guys, this is this is this is Beverly Hills type stuff right here. Look at how big this house is. I mean, look at that. There's no one back of us, so I'm not holding anybody up, but look at how big this is. Unreal. They've got a motorhome garage. They have a huge guest house above the all the garages. It looks like they have like a six car garage plus a motorhome garage. Look at this house right here too, right next door. Just fantastic just fantastic and I know each and every single one of you could have something like this it just takes hard work and effort that, that's all it takes I know it sounds like a lot but it's not I hear so many people using so many excuses like oh well I don't need that much so blah 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 it's always the ones who don't want to put the effort into life and use cop-outs to not maximize what you're possibly able to do in life you guys deserve everything you guys are wonderful 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 and I know we all don't need a big house or like this and that and lots of us are very content with with what what we do have it's just I believe in all of us and I know that we all can kick ass and take names um, and we and and you only live once so I stopped using that cop out and hating on wealthy people and um, always thinking that wealthy people got where they are because they had to have screwed someone over and stuff. These were all excuses I would tell myself so I wouldn't have to put effort in into life because um, I was a victim, <laughs> you know, it's so pathetic. That's, that's how I used to think all the time. But now, especially being married and stuff, I want to have everything that I can have and I want to be able to share that with all my friends and family. I love you guys a lot and I just want you guys to be successful always and um, and just never settle for, for second best, you guys. You don't need to because you guys are the best. So this is going to be it for right now. I'll be doing a little more recording later once the storm gets closer. I love you all. I will talk to you soon. Hey, what's up, you guys? This is just another little addition to what we've been doing today. Right now, we're on Big Bear Boulevard heading out towards Big Bear City. And once again, you can see these, these storms firing up out here. And if you look in that gray section, right below those big clouds, that's where we'll see lightning for sure. And then over here in the Cern Valley, these clouds hanging up in the air. It's so beautiful, but I don't think any of this is going to impact town today. But I wanted you guys to see how beautiful it is, because it really is beautiful. And when we get something else, or more big clouds coming through, or even rain, I will post it. However, if we don't get anything, I think I'll still post the video because it's been a beautiful day like this. These are absolutely gorgeous. Wow, look at that. It almost looks like fire, doesn't it? Like just, just smoke from, from fire. All right, guys. And I know you I know you guys are anxious to meet my wife and it's gonna happen soon, I promise. Love y'all. Bye. Alright, so it's seven o'clock you guys and these clouds over here, we're on Moon Ridge Way. But these clouds over here, they're getting closer and closer. We just got a flash flood watch for this area until for another hour or two. So I'm still hoping we'll get something, but I at least want you guys to see once we wrap around this corner how high these cumulonimbus clouds go doesn't look that high looking through the camera but it those are really really up there especially those up there it's so amazing so as 
I say, guys, if we get any precipitation or anything, you know, I'll be recording it for you guys. But pretty shortly, I'm going to upload this video if we don't get any rain by about 10 o'clock. Peace out, you guys. All right, you guys. So this cloud right here, it's kind of sunset time up here. See the very top of it. It is still capturing the sun. It's just beautiful. So we do have a flash flood watch over here, but it's not going to happen tonight. But I want you guys just to see how beautiful everything is today. And look at this direction. Look at the moon up there. There's snow summit. It's just blue skies as far as the eye can see that direction. But the monsoonal stuff comes from that direction. Just get ready, you guys, for get ready for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. It's going to be good. Anyway, I'm going to upload this shortly, you guys. Love you all. You take care, and I will talk to you all later. Thank you again for everything and all the support you guys show me. It means a lot to me. Thank you.